Welcome to Star Coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. ROTC Color Guard. Directing tonight's Color Guard is Cadet Commander Kenzie Withers. She's accompanied by Cadet Lieutenant Commander Luis Carrillo. Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Timmy Ader Adarinoye. And Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Viviano Ortiz. Carrying the answer will be Cadet Chief Petty Officer Michaela Gales. Carrying the flag of the state of Tennessee will be Cadet Seaman Chris Carini. Carrying the flag of the U.S. Navy will be Cadet Petty Officer First Class Gabriela Juca. Left guard will be Cadet Petty Officer Second Class Eduardo Ortiz. And the right guard will be Cadet Lieutenant Commander Jaden Harmon. Day, 19 men hijacked four planes to carry out the deadliest attacks on U.S. soil. America was changed forever, history books were rewritten, and families were never the same again. Today we look back and pay honor to those lives lost on September 11, 2001. At this time, please stand and let us observe a moment of silence for those lives lost during the events of 9 11. A hijacked airliner, American Airlines Flight 11 out of Boston, Massachusetts, crashes into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, tearing a gaping hole in the building and setting it on fire, taking the lives of 99 passengers. At 9.03 a.m., a second hijacker, hijacked airliner, United Airlines Flight 175, also out of Boston, crashes into the South Tower of the World Trade Center and explodes taking the lives of 64 passengers. At 9.38 a.m., a third hijacked airliner, American Airlines Flight 77, crashes into the Pentagon, setting up a huge plume of smoke, taking the lives of 64 passengers. The Pentagon lost 120, 125 lives, including 55 military personnel. At 10.03 a.m., a fourth hijacked airliner, United Airlines Flight 93, en route from Newark, New Jersey to San Francisco with 38 passengers, two pilots, and five flight attendants aboard crashes 60 miles southeast of Pittsburgh in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. At 10.05 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses. 10.10 a.m., part of the Pentagon collapses. At 10.28 a.m., the World Trade Center's North Tower collapses from the top down. Today, we remember the lives of those lost 19 years ago, but also we pay our gratitude to those first responders, military personnel, and citizens who sacrificed everything to save lives during these events. Finally, to the families who lost loved ones, we honor you and hold you always in our thoughts and prayers. Please remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. 